Today, looking at some affordable mobile filmmaking accessories from Ulanzi. Learn how to turn your smartphone into a professional quality video camera. Be sure to check out our mobile filmmaking courses, master the Filmic Pro app, or color grading in LumaFusion, and learn about smartphone video and cinematography. And also don't forget, we have a companion filmmaking podcast. Links are in the description. I first used some Ulanzi products several years ago, and I have to be honest and say that I wasn't that impressed. But things have definitely changed since then, and they're now one of my favorite lower cost or more affordable filmmaking gear brands. I kind of equate them to the small rig of mobile filmmaking. So today we're looking at a ball head, a tripod mount, which is also a phone stand or a kickstand, and a nice camera cage for your phone. This is a stand slash tripod mount that I think is pretty great for mobile filmmakers. You can set it on your desk like this or any flat surface to shoot a selfie shot, a time lapse, whatever. But then of course you can also mount it on a tripod. It's fully metal, all aluminum, very sturdy feeling. And the foam mount will rotate 360 degrees. So that obviously means horizontal and vertical shooting setups for video or photography, or if you want to set it up for different viewing angles on your desk or what have you. It's got a quarter 20 mount for a tripod, but it's also got the larger 3 8 16 mount, which is nice as well. It's also very compact and folds up extremely small. And mounting on a tripod is super simple. You could also put this on a slider dolly or a little tabletop dolly. It's a pretty versatile design and the mount itself will expand to hold pretty much any phone. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max and it's the largest iPhone they've ever made and it works fine. And so now you're set up to go shoot some video. I like that you can angle this as well, including shooting straight up or straight down, depending on how you have it configured. And of course you can use it as a stand just to use your phone or watch a video. And so overall, I find this to be a pretty cool, almost Swiss army knife of tripod mounts. Next up is a ball head from Ulanzi, and this is for smaller setups, such as mobile devices or compact cameras, and probably very light mirrorless, the smaller mirrorless cameras. It's not a heavy duty ball head, but it is pretty solid. I like that it has an Arca Swiss mount, and so it's compatible with other plates I have on other cameras, even larger plates. It's got a quarter 20 on the bottom. I wish it also had the 3 8 16th, but it doesn't. But again, for most lighter setups, this is more than fine. And it's a nice touch. They actually put a cold shoe on the side of the head. So you could easily add an accessory there. Overall, the build quality of this is pretty strong. And with the quarter 20 mount, it will connect to any tripod legs or any quick release plate that has that particular connection. And so now you're ready to mount your phone, your camera, you could put a light on it, whatever you want to use. Again, I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with the build quality of this lesser expensive gear. This ball head is very solid and I wouldn't be afraid to put any kind of small setup on this. Other cheaper gear that I've used, yeah, I, I would be cautious. But with this, I felt very confident using it. And now their video cage for the iPhone. And this, I have to say, was probably the biggest surprise to me. It's pretty good. It comes with three main pieces and it's got a 17 millimeter thread mount on it for various lenses. It's also got several built-in cold shoes. And then it has a multitude of quarter 20 mounts around the outside of it. And by the way, this cage is for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. They don't have one for the 12 Pro Max yet. I believe they are working on one, but again, this model is for the 11 Pro Max. And so you take this clear, what I would call a liner, and put it on your phone. It's not a case. 
It's very thin, but it is important to put this on. And then you take your foam with that liner and put it into the actual cage. And it is a nice snug fit. And then this is really cool. The back piece that holds everything together is magnetic. Super easy, super clean, and very secure. So with this cage, you can mount their DOF adapter. I've had this for a while and I am planning to do a review of this adapter. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely do that now to see that review coming in the near future. And the cage also works with their 17 millimeter mount anamorphic lens. And yeah, I need to do a review of this lens as well. And of course you could use it with no external lens attached at all. I actually have quite a bit of experience using cages. I've used them from B-Script and Helium Core and both those are great products. They're heavier duty. They're also a lot more expensive. And I found this cage to be surprisingly solid, especially because again, it's not as robust as its competitors, but it really does work well. And I actually like the fact that it's much lighter and a smaller form factor, yet you're still getting the benefit of a cage. And by the way, they do make these for other phone models as well, including some Android devices. So ultimately, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get some really nice mobile filmmaking accessories. Again, these kind of surprise me. I'm used to using the higher end stuff, but I found all three of these to work surprisingly well, have good build quality, and importantly, they won't empty your wallet. If you're interested in any of this gear, links are in the description. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.